My name is Margaret Mason. I'm a lead analyst at Lucky & Company. A day in the life for me can mean many things. I juggle anywhere from five to seven clients at any given time. And it really all boils down to, am I delivering on experiences using data and to solve business problems? So that can mean something like advanced analytics, working with a data scientist, or it can be something like business strategy and how we use next best action. My name is Brian Lampkin. I'm the Senior Vice President of uh, Analytics and Integrated Solutions at Lucky. I work with Margaret. Um, a day in my life could take me from healthcare to selling snack cakes to building a better experience with a consumer data platform um, for a, a destination marketing organization to uh, making sure that an email program works for physicians. Uh, looking to prescribe for uh, HIV. I, I can wear many hats a day. The end of every day is feels like a good tired every day uh, using the brain power, but we're ultimately we're trying to solve uh, business problems for our clients that deliver the experience that a brand promises. It it the thing that we see most most common is people think of Martech. Um, and the end product being activation. And, and activation, obviously, that's important. What we see being missed is the integration side of it. So I, I've got a platform, I can deliver way more personalized, customized, localized messaging with my platform, but does how does it integrate? How does it marry itself to the rest of the data assets that I have so that I have a full, complete picture of my consumer so that I'm ready to activate on the next thing uh, with a higher degree of confidence than I had yesterday that it's gonna, it's gonna pull through and, and drive value for my brand. I, the, one of the biggest challenges is a question that I hear almost with every new client pitch, with every, even current partners is, I have too much data and I don't know what to use, how to use it. And so you have, you know, 22,000 emails sitting in a CRM, but you're not active, you're not doing anything with it. It's not ready for action. And that's kind of the space that we play in yeah. where we really get to maximize that and say, hey, we can help you there and get to that end product a little bit better. Yeah, that, that is, that is, when I don't hear that in front of a new client, I'm surprised because it is the prevalence of, I have too much data, I, I, I don't know what to do with it. Um, and the, the concept of getting it business ready, um, the concept of not just housing it, not just aggregating it, but transforming it into a way that is an automated decision in which you have confidence and you're talking to a single customer on that level with data. Um, is it's everywhere right now. It's literally everywhere across uh, every every vertical that we work in. Start, start with Margaret. Okay. No, 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 me. I'm, oh, wait, wait. I'm your favorite. I know, oh, I, know okay. that was, I was like, do I say it? <laughs> <laughs> I would say that my favorite part of my job is being able to work with my team. And I mean that in every sense. My team, both at um, within our department at Lucky, but then the broader team that is Lucky as a whole. Um, we have a lot of cross-functional practices and being able to see how people work together who have come from different backgrounds and different perspectives, whether that be on you know banking or in um, healthcare, whatever the case may be, it's always, it always gets back to team. Um, and I think that's my favorite, that's probably my favorite part for sure. Um, being responsible for the, for the entire practice, my greatest joy at work is when I see one of my people, like a Margaret, uh, like my data scientist, uh, or my other analysts, or my, or my DBAs, when they come to an insight that changes the eye level of our clients. 
It's, there's no, not really anything I think more rewarding for us or for them. You know, you've changed the way that they're going to do business in a positive way. You know, you've changed somebody's mind. You know, you've made somebody's job easier. You know, you've made your client look really smart in the boardroom. Uh, you know, you're driving the value and how your work is actually having impact on somebody's business. There's, there's, uh, it's a, it's a big, big rush of, of adrenaline for us to, to really find something that changes somebody's eye level and makes them think differently about their business. I would say ask questions. I think you can never ask um, enough questions, specifically within that data space. Um, you never want to make an assumption. You never want to go too far um, or pretend like you know a client's business better than they do. That would be rough on a call. But being able to say, humble yourself, to say, I don't know everything. And I have this great ed education. I've been involved in so many different things within Culver House, but what does that mean when I walk into the room? How am I going to be received? So asking questions, I think is one of the most crucial parts. Um, it's something I learned here at the University of Alabama, but it's also something that I use every day. Absolutely spot on with that. The second thing I would tell them is learn how to say no. Learn how to say no. Uh, the demand for what these these folks that have this skill set, the face, is going to be more than you can do. The, the demand for what we do is so high that, you know, you, you, you try to solve too many problems at once, guess how many problems you solve? Zero problems. You have to learn how to say no, you have to learn how to prioritize and then execute um, because that's when you drive value. You're not, it's not going to make everybody happy. Not, not a lot of people that need your help like hearing the word no, but you need to learn how to say no and, and deliver what you can.